Hey guys and welcome back to the next video. Today we want to take a look at the Hawk Riders, the Hawk Gliders, sorry, the new troop in Builder Base and we want to go over a couple of replays, how you guys can use them and like what's the easiest way to unlock them and like get their max, which is kind of obvious, like just upgrade your barracks and then use the power potion. That's pretty simple. And then just have have, have some fun with it and I will show you guys a couple of armies where Hawk Riders are working really, really good with and like really nice army compositions. And I will show you what you have to look out for and pretty much what to do and what armies can work. And let's jump into the first attack. We will do this one live and the other attacks will have like some replays and let's hope the first attack won't fail completely. But before we do that, we have obviously to yeah, get uh, the power potion to have those Hawk Gliders max because that's like one of the biggest issues with the Hawk Gliders that is taking for like forever pretty much to unlock them to max because they're not only really expensive, but as well like it takes so long for them to upgrade. So that's like a huge problem. But at the same time, as long as you have power potions, you have quite some fun with them. So the first opponent base and on this one, you will try the Baryon, cannon cards, and some Hawk Gliders. Like one of the big things what you want to aim for when you attack with the ground army on those bases is always try to time the Hawk Gliders onto the Crushers. And that's like one really important thing. Like Hawk Gliders, you cannot really spam those to triple. Like on, on good bases, that's not gonna work. That's not how they are designed. It's all about the stun and that you pick those defenses that are super important against your army. Like you don't always want to stun the Crusher. For example, if you have a Night Witch army, why would you stun the Crusher? It's like completely wasted. So you always have to pick the right timing and the right defenses to stun to make sure you get the most value out of your Hawk Gliders. And that's like the key to use them. On this one, like I said, I try to get rid of the Crusher just to make sure that all of my, um, all of my the variants won't die and the timing is so important as well because you don't want to have the crusher getting one hit off and then it's getting stunned you just want to have the crusher stunned right in time and because there's a stun duration like it's not stunned forever so you want to have the timing right so you have a couple of minutes or like minutes is like not right but a couple of seconds to get rid of the crusher first so i will come in with a couple of uh, bombers and variants and now you can see the hawk uh, gliders coming in and the defense is done now i will try to send as many barbarians onto the crusher as possible actually i didn't use like barbarians too often in the last couple of attacks right now packers are so strong on on builder hall 9 it's insane so i always try to opt in those but yeah in the end it worked out we got rid of the like the splash damage defenses like mortar like roaster and etc so everything is looking really good the hawk rider is still tanking and that's the town hall which means in the end this is going to be at least a high percentage two, two star but since well our battle machine is still up so it's still going still got, uh, trying to get the three star but yeah that's that's what's like the most important thing when you are attacking with the barons and i think the barons and cannon cards and hawk gliders could be the most like one of the strongest true compositions you can use but at the same time it's by far the most difficult and complicated attack to execute because you have to pretty much time everything right if you lose your cannon card early or one of your cannon cards early it's pretty much gg like it's so hard to come back from that and at the same time if you lose bombers early it's pretty much the same thing and if you lose your or you don't get the timing right with the stun on the crusher it's all doomed. So I think that's a pretty nice army composition, but we will jump right to the next one. And this one is going to be Night Witches with Hawk Gliders and Minions. Minions right now are super strong because they have like the, the extra army camp and that's like super important and they have so much damage. So the troop right now is super strong. And on this one, what I try to do is to stun the defenses that are like the most powerful against my army composition. Once again, like this one cannon, could have picked my witches and 
could completely wreck them. That's why I stunned that building. And then I tried to stun the air bomber defense, which in the end took me like two tries because, well, hawk gliders can die in the air. At least their gliders can. So that's like a, another thing what you have to look out for. Like if you're sending them in, don't send them into like too many crackers or air defense, whatever. That's kind of kind of hard to do um, because they won't make it. Uh, but on this one, yeah, I stunned the air bomber, the air bomb defense, and the cannon just to make sure that my witches and my bats stay alive. And in the end, you can see like so much is still alive. I still mar oh, I marked once again the spot where I dropped the um, the hawk gliders. But yeah, since this base is not completely maxed. This is going to be a, a triple. Otherwise, this would have been a really high percentage two star, uh, which is always really good. Um, what you try to aim for, if you have like an opponent which is pretty well up upgraded, around 60, 70, 80 percent, something like this, is now pretty good. Like 70 to 80 is really solid. Um, and as long as you're above 60, uh, you're good to go. As long as you have a good defense. So make sure to check out my other video where I highlighted a below nine base and yeah let's get into the next attack and this one is going to be Pekka, Hawk Gliders, Cannon Cards and Archers and on this one it's all about the placement of your Pekka combined with the Cannon Cards like your goal pretty much is and the basis you want to attack with this is um, where you can target the Crusher really early like on this one I can target the Crusher right away with my Hawk Glider and meanwhile, I drop a couple of um, outside um, archers. This one, it was actually really bad for me that I just like, I don't know, I should have placed an archer or something like this because now I lost already one Pekka, which means this could have, like this is already going worst case. Like I stunned the crusher, which is like good, but I already lost one Pekka way too early. Meanwhile, I'm tanking the lava launcher with my battle machine. There's not too much damage, so that's totally fine. And always remember, I already kind of swagged and Pekka, which is huge and still the attack is doing really fine so much stuff is still alive I have still 10 archers left to pick up percentages my battle machine is still alive I have a couple of cannon cards still alive like trying to get some more percentage in 64% still my troops are still going 70% my now I try to go for the three star I think I could have got like more percentage but on this one I said okay let's go ham let's just try to uh, pick up the three star but in the end, it didn't work out because first, my ballot machine isn't maxed on this attack. And second is, well, I didn't target the right defense with my archer. So that's like a bit a bummer, but still 82%. It's really, really solid. And I just tried out like Pekka right now is my most favorite troop on Bilhar 9. They're so strong. And I will show you in the next two days, um, a couple of like, I think, no, in, a, in four days, I will have a video about the best army compositions on Builder Hall 9. Um, and there I will highlight a couple of really, really solid uh, strategies where you don't need to jam like the new tube, like without the Hawk Gliders. That's why I do the separate. Like this one is all about the Hawk Gliders, like army compositions around the Hawk Glider. And after that, I will choose to do an army guide kind of without the Hawk Gliders. Like what do you have to upgrade? What are the possible armies? What are the most powerful armies right now, etc. So. So that's what we try to do. On this one, um, I do pretty much the same attack I did the last time, but this time I just try to go all in, which means I try to send as many P.E.K.K.A. into the base pretty much as possible. On this attack, I completely failed the timing on the Hawk Gliders, which is why in the end it didn't like triple. But still, I did pretty good, I think. I should have saved one of my Hawk Gliders for this Crusher right now. This would have been really important. And I opt, or I said, I'd, I don't want to bring some archers this time because I said, okay, if I get the two star, it's kind of around 80%. If I don't get the two star, it, well, the archers won't matter anyway. And if I get the town hall with all of my Pekka, it's really high, highly likely that I get three stars um, if everything is working. So I didn't opt in to try to snipe those outside army camps. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for the armor compositions. I kind of think that I liked. Uh, so we have Barbarians, Bombers, Cannon Cards and Hawk Gliders. Then we have the Air version kind of. We have the um, Night Witches, Minions and Hawk Gliders. You can use Loons, Minions and Hawk Gliders as well, but it's like really base dependent. If you can target the 
air bomber defense really early. If that's possible, you can use it. As a, otherwise, it's not that good, actually. Um, then you have the Pekka, Card, Archer, and Glider attack. And then you can like decide if you want to take the Archer or maybe another Pekka or another Cannon card. So that's like my favorite army right now to have the Gliders, Pekka, and Cannon cards. I think that's like super, super strong, especially with Pekka being so strong right now. So, and it's a lot of fun to use as well because you always have to time those hog gliders. It's not about like just spam the packers in. You actually need to do something, which is, in my opinion, always the most fun in strategies. Like, I'm not a huge fan of the loon and minion attack because you most of the time just have to like get the troops in and you're kind of done. Uh, on the Pekka Hog Glider Cannon Card attack, you actually have to time your gliders and delay a couple of them just to make sure that you get the inside defenses the most important defenses to stun them and that's what we're all about that's how you use hawk gliders i hope you guys enjoyed the video and try it on your own just upgrade your barracks and use the power potion with that see you guys in the next video